Okay, so we are, it is July 6th, crazy, we're already mid-July, not mid-July, we're about to be in mid-July, the year is flying by, but we um, are going to do a call on Diamond, what it is, kind of tips to get there, and I've asked three of our newest Diamonds, um, Kylie, I don't think she's on yet, um, Amanda, and Caitlin, just to jump in and share their stories. Um, I know Caitlin and Amanda both are I think, signed up within like the last six to nine months and have just hit the ground running um, and made it this happen. And it's not something that just all of a sudden happens. You not like you wake up and all of a sudden you're diamond. Like that is so far from it. I know personally for me, um, like I'm in awe that of Caitlin and Amanda I and mean, Kylie. Kylie did it within a year. Like it took me 18 months. And uh, but at the same time, like everyone has their own story. Everyone has their own journey. There was a lot, I had a lot of missing pieces in my story or in my day-to-day um, -day coach activities, even though I was an all-in coach, I was here to build a business and these girls are clearly doing something right. And I just wanted them to share with you kind of what their story and how they've gotten into where they are so far. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen because I do have a few slides. Try to be a little bit professional tonight. <laughs> Rarely happens. Okay. Diamond call, July 6th. Here we go. All right. So announcements. I just posted our rough calendar. Um, just know that anytime anything can, new can pop up, that's the beauty of coaching. Like, it's like, oh, let's do a free week. Let's do the coach sneak peek tomorrow or not tomorrow, but you guys know how it is. So I, but I do like to give you guys just a rough idea of what's ahead for the month. Um, the biggest thing being a virtual summit will be happening the 14th or 16th. If you're brand new and you, you're like, what the heck is summit? We should be getting together. It's our company wide event. Every coach doesn't matter if you're just a coach, diamond coach, 15 superstar diamond coach. Every coach is invited to this where we work out live with the trainers. We get in-person um, training from like the top coaches, coaches that are at our same level. We get to meet the CEO and just go to parties and be together. It makes me very sad to think about it, but at the same time, I fully believe this will be our last virtual one. We had a virtual one last year because of COVID and then the same thing. I mean, getting 25 to 30,000 people together was just a lot in this year, supposed to be in St. Louis and, um, so that would have been really fun, especially since so many of us are from the Midwest, but they will be announcing where next year is. And I could, I would say I'm putting betting on St. Louis again. So that could be a lot of fun. Um, but anyways, there's going to be still live workouts and they're going to have a ton of announcements and a ton of coach training. So if you can pop on to any of those things, I highly, highly encourage you to, I know I personally will be on vacation, but we'll be trying to tune in when I can. Um, then obviously 645 is launching coaches get access today. If you got it, um, in the chat, drop it and let me know how, what you thought of day one. Um, and even if you're like, Hey, I, this is not for me. You still need to get access to it and try a few workouts because you never know who in your audience, like needs this, or this is right up their alley. And if you never talk about it or never show them some moves or never show them who Amwala is, like they will never give this a chance or even know about it all because you just didn't try it. So, and it's beneficial to your own health. And I truly think this program will be so great for us coaches because he, he, he is so knowledgeable in what, how, what he teaches us and just like Oh, this, if you're this, your back is hurting. It's probably because of this, this, and this. I'm like, Oh, I didn't know that. So I just think we're going to learn so much that we can pass on to our clients and our coaches. When we come along those things, I think this is that, that part of this program sets it apart from, you know, nine, we control freak any, um, T20 where it's just like in out, which those programs are great, but this one is just full of knowledge. And I think that's a really cool part of it. And then customer access is July 19th. And then my last thing is just two things I always like to ask myself at the beginning of a month. It's like, when am I inviting to a challenge group? And when am I inviting to coaching? Because those are our two main jobs as coaches that are working the business. Like we're inviting to a challenge group and getting customers started. 
Now we're inviting to coaching. So I know for me, these next two to three weeks are all about 645, helping people get started or inviting for me, I'm inviting to my 21 kind of hard group. And then as we switch gears towards the end of the month with a coach sneak peek, then I'm going to switch gears to inviting to coaching. So that helps me when I go to post and when I go to put up stories that I'm not just like aimlessly throwing up a post about nothing. Like every day, I know what I'm intentionally inviting to do. I don't talk about it all day long, but I know that I'm going to put a story up about that. And I'm going to have a post around that this week. So just to think through for your own, what are you doing? I know not everyone's doing the same thing as me and that is totally fine. Quick shout out to our July life changers. Brooke led the other way with 22, which is huge. And Cassie coming in at 18. As you, you guys can all see, I'm going to post this on Thursday, but just so proud of everyone as a group. I mean, we've changed 265 lives, which is incredible. Um, so yeah, really exciting. I know June was actually a slower month for a lot of us, but at the same time, no, that's really normal because I know April and May were like crazy months with let's get up. And if you were like, man, I didn't even hit success club. I'm a failure. Like that is very, very, very normal to have a slow month after a couple of high months. It's just the name of the game in entrepreneurship and in coaching in general, there's the mountains, there's the valleys, but it's also really important what you do when you do hit those valleys that you don't just get stuck and say, well, this isn't for me. I, I failed, but <laughs> you know, you just got to keep going. And I know a lot of you, I was you know, I think Caitlin, yeah, Caitlin, you were saying like, I did, you know, this was the first month I didn't hit success club, but I connected and have so many amazing conversations going on. Like that, that tells you more about what the next few months than your success club numbers in June. Like just keep that in mind. Okay. So what is diamond? I'm going to break it down for you guys. Really, really easy to start. So here is just an active coach with 50 volume. And then the first milestone that you can hit is Emerald. And that is when you have some number we're a binary system. So when you have a coach on your left, a coach on your right, and they both have 50, 50 personal volume active status, you're an Emerald coach. We don't talk about Ruby too much because usually people just go straight from Emerald to Diamond. So what Diamond is, is you have four active coaches on each leg and one of those coaches, it doesn't matter where they are. It could be your first coach on your leg, the last coach on your leg. One of them on each side has to be Emerald. I mean, they have two coaches. So here's another graphic that just kind of shows, you know, what it is. Again, the Emeralds can be anywhere, but all of these people that you see need to be active with 50 personal volume. Okay. So. Some of you might look at that and be like, whoa, that's a lot of coaches. Like, what is the, what, why would I strive for that? <laughs> or, you know, what is the urgency to get there? That is what we're going to talk about tonight because Diamond truly is where things start in this business when you are building a business. If you're just, again, if you're just doing this for the discount, a hobby, like you might eventually get to Diamond. But if you are doing this for to build a business and to see success and to be a part of all the stuff that's going on, Diamond needs to happen as soon as possible. So the first thing that happens is you get the $18 team cycle bonus. Um, when you're an Emerald coach, the team cycle bonus is just $14 every cycle, which $14 is great, but that four more dollars every cycle bonus adds up big time over time. I should have, I, there is a calculator out there um, that one of my mentors sent me of like, if you did the same amount of work as a uh, diamond coach, as an emerald coach, you make like almost $500 more as a diamond coach in a week than an emerald coach. And it's like, if you're doing the same amount of work, it's worth it to get to diamond and hold diamond. Um, the second thing is you have a team now. It's really, I know you have a team, whether you're you're a coach of one or a team of two, you have all of us, but at the same time, it's really, really, really fun. I can speak from experience. I know all the diamonds on this call can, when you actually have girls doing this with you, maybe you get to diamond and you really don't have any business builders, but you still have a team who's following along with you, who is maybe doing the same programs with you, who is falling in love with the products with you. And you have people that like are a part of this with you and cheering you on like that just gets really really fun 
and maybe you get to diamond and you have one or two people who are ready to run and ready to build a business. And that, trust me, that's where it gets just super, super fun as a business building coach. The third thing is retreats. You get to go to our diamond leadership retreat, which I know for me and a lot of us have just been game changers and finally won just meeting each other and hugging each other and spending time together. Um, I know just like seeing that, like, oh, they're just regular girls like me. They're not, you know, they don't have any superpowers or, you know, we're all special in our own ways. We know that, but there's nothing that truly sets us apart that says, oh, Caitlin can do that. And I can't do that. It's like, okay, Caitlin's a mom of two, almost three, and she's doing this. I can do that too. I know those retreats always build me up of like, okay, I can do this. I'm meant to be here. And that's what you need to pour into your business. And it shows like your business is real, <laughs> you know, a lot of us, we know it's real, but sometimes it just adds that layer of credibility that, okay, these aren't just these internet friends and internet business. She's doing this. Like she's actually doing this. These are actual women. It's an actual opportunity. So it just adds that level of credibility. And then and when you get to Diamond, there are some bonuses, some matching bonuses where you earn 10% off of your team. Um, and I really think that's all. Yeah, this is kind of just more some numbers behind it. If you're a big numbers person, of like the potential of what a Diamond can earn. But really, truly, like it's what you make of it. I, you can hit diamond and be not making a lot of money if you don't have a team that is working with you. But the goal for this call is we just want you guys to realize like this is achievable. If you think this is hard and you think this is far out there, because that was my mistake. I looked at this and I looked at all these diamond coaches when I was a brand new coach or I was a year into this and I was like, I can't do that. And, of and then of course it took me 18 freaking months to get there. But once I started to do the habits on our success club tracker and I just decided I'm just gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna go for it. They say I need to get to diamond. I need to go get to diamond. I need to get to this retreat. I need to give this an actual shot and see if this is for me. That's when everything changed and it became so much fun. So I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> because I want our newest diamonds to just share their stories with you, how they got started with coaching, and then two to three tips of, you know, how they've gotten to where they are so far. So Amanda or Caitlin, I don't know if Kylie's on here yet. I can't see everybody, but anyone want to go first? Okay, I'll go. <laughs> Okay. Um, all right. So I am just going to go, I'm just going to backtrack like six years ago when I started with Beachbody and I had just had our, our baby. Oh, so I'm going to back up. My name is Amanda Wade. I'm from West Lafayette, Indiana. I have never met any of you. My mom and my sister are on here as well. Hello. <laughs> um, but I started um, doing Beachbody six years ago after we had our first baby, Carson. Um, and I, at that time, just thought I was so busy. Like, oh, I work. And I had every excuse every excuse. Um, I did it for a month. And I also had a coach that just wasn't very motivating. And so I stopped, I stopped, stopped the shakes, stopped everything was like, yeah, that's okay. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> so what about my life for a while? Fast forward, um, two more babies and um, about five years and two more babies. And I tried it again last summer, had another coach, tried it, was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. This time is it. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, bar blend. That's why, that's what I did. <laughs> And so I signed up, I did it, but for some reason, I was just like legit so tired, like all the time, like something was not right. I was like, oh, like, I just have no motivation to do this. My sister, who's a nurse, um, works for a hematologist was like, Amanda, you need to go get your labs checked. I'm like, okay, did that. Sure enough, vitamin D, iron, um, and some other things were low. And so those, all those things caused me <laughs> to not feel well. So then I was like, okay, before I start committing um, to a workout program, I need to get my health in check. I took my vitamins, got sleep, did those things, took a few months, but I was finally feeling better, feeling like myself, feeling the best I'd had in a really long time. So then I think it was like at the end of December, I was watching Instagram and came across another coach who was talking about Brooke. And I, um, she had gone live that day on the Beachbody call. And so I was like, oh, I got to check that out. And I had never watched one of those before, but 
I was at work just browsing around on Facebook or Instagram <laughs> and I watched it and I was just like, oh my gosh, like I just related to her story and it's just crazy how that happened. Like I wasn't really looking for it, it just kind of fell into my lap. So I messaged her like right away. I was like, hey, um, I'm Amanda, I don't know who I am. Yeah, I would like for you to be my coach. <laughs> And sure enough, she's like, okay, hey, like so nice on her messages. Um, and so I signed up, I went all in, I did the nine week control freak. I was so pumped. I love that program so much. It like hit me hard. That it was like the perfect time in my life to do that program. Um, I love Autumn. She just has so much good personal development too. And so I did it. I went all out. Like I was like, you know what? I had my water. I was like so pumped this time. And Brooke, like, thank you so much. Like, I still don't think you understand how motivating you were for me during that time. Um, and about two weeks into the um, program, I had this like crazy like moment. And I called my sister and I just started crying because I just could not believe how much better I had felt. <laughs> um, you don't realize how bad you feel um, until you feel good. And, um, so I, I like, I knew I'd suffered from anxiety, but I had suffered from depression. I did not know that. I did not know that I had depression until I felt better. If that makes sense to anybody. Um, so two weeks in, I was just like, oh my gosh, like I am going to do this. There's no going back. No, no, no. Like, and I'd originally signed up to be a discount coach, but I was like, nope, 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 nope. I'm sharing this with others because others need to know about this. You know, if you don't take care of yourself, guess what? No one else is, you know, you have to put yourself first. And that finally just hit me right in the head. It's like, ah, <laughs> Amanda, why didn't you do this six years ago? I don't know why, but I'm so glad I did, did it now. Um, I made a ton of notes. Hold on. <laughs> oh, let's see here. And then my sister, she's joining along. She's actually on here. I think she should show her face. We're identical twins, but she's doing this with me. Um, and honestly, like, it's been so fun. Like, it's been so fun. She heard the spark in my voice. She's like, well, shoot, like, I wasn't ready for that, but now I am. So she's on board with me. I'm trying to get her to, to be a diamond. Um, um, and basically, like, my tips for people, like, to, um, being a coach and that want to grow, is like, you have to share your journey with people. Like, I talk about it all the time. Like, I'm, people are like, hey, like, you're, you're kind of different. I'm like, well, have you heard of Beachbody? <laughs> And, um, and it's just really cool. Like when, like within the first month, like I just was so excited about it. Like I talked about it all the time. Like one of the guys that I work with in our office, he has been like working out since he was like early twenties and he's like fifties now. And I was like, Joe, like, I get it. Like, I get it now. <laughs> Finally. And you don't get it until you do it. And that's like what I try to tell people now. Like you don't get it until you actually do it. So now it's, it's June. Oh, it's July. And I've been doing it since January. And I'm just like, I did it. Like I'm doing it. Um, let's see. And everyone, yeah, everyone has their story. Share your story. Everyone's story is different. And that's like one thing I also love about this. I love hearing everybody's story and where they came from, where they're going and all that fun stuff. Um, let's see. And I never used to post like at all. I maybe post like, oh, it's my baby's birthday or hey, have, like just nothing, nothing inspirational, just a, you know, every six months. <laughs> like put a post out there but now I'm doing the stories um and I've got people telling me like hey like you're like really inspiring like I got up and worked out today because I saw that you got up and worked out today like good job so it's been it's been really good you don't know who's watching um it's just crazy the, the random messages that I get like it's just crazy it's unreal and just be yourself it's so important to be yourself don't compare yourself to others just don't do that it's not going to help yourself. Um, you know, it just like, I'm not really good at reels. I've tried it. <laughs> I might try again. I've got three. <laughs> um, and then, and always, and do follow the advice from your coach. Brooke was like, Hey, you need to do this. You need to do that. And I went outside of my comfort zone and I did it. And I hit diamonds and yeah, thank you, Brooke. And I was so pumped to help her reach um, her next goal of opening her next business. So I'm really glad. I think that's all I got. <laughs> Sorry, I probably talked too much. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. That was so I love. I can't wait to meet you and hug you and I know. Can't wait to meet you guys. <laughs> Kylie or Caitlin, what's the next? I can go because I found the mute button. I couldn't seem to find it when it was in the other screen. So that's my life. Um, 
I say this every time I talk, but someone like give me a thumbs down if I start cutting in and out because I live out in the middle of nowhere. So, um, but I am Caitlin. I have been a coach since like October. So coming up, we're getting closer to the year mark. Um, and I always love the part where people share kind of their stories on how they got there because um, everyone has similarities, but it's so different. So I'll keep mine short because I'm a talker, but um, I was specifically with this journey. I was actually um, postpartum with Jack. So I have two kids, Charlie, who is two, a little under three, and then Jack is 19 months. So they're 15 months apart. Um, and I was postpartum with Jack. I was exactly like at the point where I could start working out again. And then I also, that was when the pandemic started. So I was getting ready to head back to work in a hospital in about four weeks. Um, I work as a PA in Pete's cardiology. So I was in this like very weird balance of being very excited because having children was something that I always wanted. And um, this idea of being a mom and now having two, I mean, we were very, very fortunate and we had worked very hard literally to get to that point. Um, and so we were excited, but I, I also remember having this feeling, um, this like underlying feeling of just kind of drowning <laughs> for lack of a better way to explain it. Um, not that we aren't happy or anything, not to dismiss those feelings, but just kind of sitting with this feeling of like getting through the motions of every single day and realizing at the end of the day that every single moment and everything I did was about everyone else you know, even simple things, going to the grocery store alone, it was focusing on who needs this? Do we need diapers? So every single part of my day was not about me. And at this point, I was on maternity leave. I wasn't even adding in the idea of working full time. I just could feel like this is not going to be sustainable. This is, I'm, I'm very much a giver at, you know, that's kind of like at my core. I enjoy um, helping people and the friend that drops everything to show up to be there. And um, I function that way a lot in their marriage and with our kids. And so I was like, holy moly, I'm going to fall apart. Like I cannot sustain this. And then add on top of that, the physical, physical part of being postpartum. I mean, you're kind of hanging out in this body that you're just like, what is happening? Um, especially when you jam them all real close together and there's no recovery in between. So I was just kind of like in this space where I could feel that it wasn't sustainable. And so um, my journey, I at this point, Brooke's kind of in the background. I still have no idea how um, we got connected. My guess is now being on this side of it, that either she added me or I came across her or something brought us together. Um, but she's in the background, you know, doing her thing. And um, this was the time when everything was free to join online, like Nike, was doing stuff with their app, Peloton, Beachbody. And so my sister and I actually, I reached out to her and I was like, can I can't do this. And she was in an interesting place too, with just mental health, being unemployed with the pandemic. And so I said, let's link arms, let's do something. So we did a 21 day challenge together and we like went all in nutrition, um, exercise. We worked out together because she was helping watch our kids at that point. And we just had like bomb results. I mean, we both lost a lot of weight. We felt completely different. Um, and it was what we needed to kind of just get over that hump of being a little bit lost in who we were. And then I carried that through the summer with her. We were just doing random things together um, without any sort of direction. And we hit the fall. And as the, everything does, the motivation, the, the excitement kind of started to wear off where you start to feel like, you're showing up, but you're really just showing up for yourself. And like, no one's watching. I'm tired. I have to go to work. And I could feel this feeling of like, just falling back into where I was. Um, and I didn't want that because I was not happy where I was before. And so um, I always tell this part, it's, this is what happened. I joke with Brooke that I was full of liquid courage. My husband was gone and I texted, Brooke was on her, um, like one of her elite trips. And I had such I don't know, jealousy. I don't know what the better word would be. And so I reached out at like nine o'clock at night and I was like, I want to join. I have never at this point had never been part of a challenge group, had never listened to a sneak peek. She messaged back like, oh, that's great. I was like, and I want to be a coach. No, I had zero idea what was happening. 
Um, she messaged me back on the plane. I dove right in, signed up, woke up with complete buyer's remorse. I, like maybe a little hungover. What am I doing? This is a terrible decision. Um, and I didn't tell anyone about it for a week. I was like, I'm not going to tell my husband, not going to tell anyone. But then during that same week, I got really excited about things because as we all kind of walk through, when you get the experience of feeling better just by prioritizing yourself and putting yourself first, it's kind of hard not to want that for other people, whether or not you know how to share it. Um, and so I met up with my sister at happy hour. There's a theme here. And she had some liquid courage. And I said, let's do this together. Um, and she was like, you're crazy. I can't believe you're doing beach body. Okay, sounds great. And then we just kind of jumped all into, you know, Brooke, the nice thing about this team is the access to all the resources are there. And I'm a very little literal person. And so when they said to do X, Y, and Z, I did X, Y, and Z. I started my own challenge group right off the bat. I had like seven people, two of which were me and my sister, but I just, I put my, my coming out post out there right away. I think I went Emerald like three days after I started because I've got a husband and a sister and I was like, okay, sounds like a plan. And it's funny now because after all of those actions, I still was like, what am I doing? Maybe this is all just, I'm being fed this to keep things moving forward. But what I've realized is that, you know, the people that have seen success are there because they put in the work and they've worked through the process of what works and what doesn't. And they're there to set us up for success. And so I've just found that if I take the information I'm given and put those things into action, it's not perfect. It's not pretty. It's not all the same every single time, but it does work over time. And like Brooke mentioned, I had my first month not hitting success club. And it was a really weird feeling because it was also one of the best months that I've had for simply connecting with people, which I'm a goal oriented person. I'm not going to lie. It hurt waking up on July 1st, like, oh, I was so, you know, but at the same time, it also let me step back and realize like, for instance, I'm probably going to throw her out there, but I have a lady on here tonight who has reached out and said, I want to do this. Like, I want to do it with you. She signed up as a coach on her own with me and is like I'm ready and that for me was huge that's what came out of showing up every day so sorry I just am really really excited about that um for anyone that's done this part it can feel for a really long time like you're doing it by yourself and so whether or not something comes of that it means a lot to me right now to have somebody that's like I love this I love what you're sharing let's do it together so whatever comes of it I'm really freaking excited um but quick tips, I'm talking forever. Sorry, I'm a talker. But the, the things that I can say are get over the fear of social media. I never posted, never shared to my stories beforehand. And I've realized that if I just take not such a selfish approach about like, who's going to like it? What are they going to think of me? This is all about me. And I just share stuff that I feel like would be helpful or funny or lighten the mood or let people know that I'm there showing up for myself. I'd show up for them that's enough. It doesn't matter if that's for 10 people or 500 people. It doesn't matter. It's not about me. Uh, and I've also really stopped just making it one-sided, meaning I post and share. And I go out and I engage. I tell women that they're doing an amazing job, even if I don't know them. I'm the, I have gotten over this fear of like, if they're sharing it, there's a reason behind it. And I should, if it's what I want to do, I should reach out and let them know you're amazing. You're not alone. You're doing a great job. So that's been the biggest thing for me. And then just literally do the things that they tell you to do, uh, because you can try and recreate the wheel, but somebody's already done it and they've done it pretty well. So you can put your own spin on it, but just sticking to the daily actions is the best thing, I guess. I can't you probably didn't see it, but everyone was raving about your reels, especially the one yesterday. <laughs> Guys, I am just like, every time I'm like, what am I doing? But all I can think about are either like perverted or really stupid, silly things. Like I can't be like empowering, but I can definitely make fun of my boobs with fruit. So just like. It's awesome. No, and that's kind of like you said, like, just who cared? You're lightening the mood. You're bringing fun to, 
yeah, a topic that we all, or a lot of us will go through or have gone through. So that looks yummy. You want some of that? If anyone's concerned, it is not alcoholic. I know I brought up drinking like five <laughs> times, but it's just blackberry juice on ice in a wine glass because I'm, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing all that, Caitlin. Um, Kylie, are you ready to share? Yeah. All right. Um, I'm Kylie. I am from Waverly, Iowa. Um, I have met a couple of you now one time. Um, actually, the first thing that I ever earned um, was through my success starter, and it was my ticket to Summit. So I was super bummed when that uh, got canceled. But um, I remember watching from the sidelines last year. And that was like my biggest goal was like, I am going to be there next year, which I should have known. But um, I will step back a little bit. I started Beachbody almost six years ago now um, when our first um, kid was born. Um, I had been a diehard group fitness class lover and um, a small piece of me still like loves that competitiveness of like being in a class with people, but um, it's just not doable. Currently, my husband um, runs his own construction company and is out the door by 6, 630 every morning. So I can't exactly leave our children home alone. Um, since then, we have had three more. Um, we have a five-year-old, three-year-old twins, and now a one-year-old. Um, so I have really done the workouts religiously since Trayton was born. Um, I did sign up to be a discount coach once upon a time with someone else like after that, just for Shakeology. Um, but then at some point it was like, eh, no, it's not worth it. I'm not drinking it every day and had canceled. Um, and then actually it would have been like a year ago in June, um, I had just finished my eighth year of teaching. I had taught online to third graders for several months, um, but I had actually resigned from my teaching position in January. Um, we put one of our twins on a helicopter with RSV to be flown to Iowa City and we were driving down behind her and I looked at my husband and I just said, I'm done. I had wanted to stay home for like the last school year or so. And that was kind of like the last straw of like not, not only was daycare like constantly getting our girls sick, but I just felt like I was missing out on everything. Um, I had never really thought that I wanted to be a stay at home mom. Um, but the more kids we added, the more it just like tugged me home. Um, thankfully, we were in a position in which I was able to just stay home. We weren't really like relying on me building a business outside of teaching. But um, after I finished with teaching and had had our fourth child. Um, I had been following along actually some of Brooke's other coaches and was like, you know, if I'm not going to have teaching, I know that I need something for myself. Um, and I didn't really know what that was, but fitness and health and nutrition has always been something that I've been very passionate about. So this felt like a very natural path for me to go. Um, so I signed up, I think we finished school June 10th and I signed up June 11th. Um, and then my coach actually ended up quitting coaching to go with her full-time job like three weeks later. So then I met Brooke for the first time um, and it has just kind of gone from there. I think I hit Emerald like within my first month um, with one of my best friends and my sister-in-law. Um, so it worked great. And then since I've signed up my husband, um, as for tips to hit diamond, I think it's a choice. Um, they always kind of say Emerald's a choice. And I think diamond, I think I texted Brooke one month that I was thinking about quitting. And the next month I was like, 
I'm doing this. Um, and I did. Uh, I used the program launches um, to really like excel that. Um, and I think it goes in ebbs and flows because this last month was fairly awful for me. Um, but again, it is it is what you you put into it. And this last month, like with our family, I unfortunately wasn't able to spend a ton of time with that. But um, I know that I'll you know get back there as well. So um, I think I I'm in a position where like my kids and my family are my top priority currently. I don't always have this like extra two hours of my day to pour into this. Um, and when I do, it succeeds and it always excels forward. Um, so when you, when you have, you know, that laser focus, it happens. Um, the bat is the, I mean, tried and true everyone preaches it um one thing that i think i like caitlin said you have to get over like the fear of social media um i think everyone has probably had the people like kind of make fun of you about posting your workouts and you know posting selfies to instagram and facebook and whatnot but you just have to do it because the number of people that then tell you like, oh, I really appreciate your posts or I love posts or seeing your posts. And I love getting to see you, you know, work out in the morning. Um, and then when you start connecting with people, you know, they're like, well, I'm not ready to, you know, join you yet. But like the encouragement that you give me every day by posting um, doesn't go unnoticed. And you're the reason that I work out. But and those are the people that like six months later come around and are like, oh, I, I'm ready now. So um, even though one month may not seem or one month may seem like it's terrible, like the next month may be on fire for you, which is kind of, I feel like how I've gone. So. That is definitely the name, name of the game. I think most of us who've been here over a year you know, it is, it's, you can be doing all the same things and then some months are just slower and some months are on fire, but as long as you're consistent, those high, those months where it's on fire, are just like, it's just so worth it. And you're helping so many people. It's so much fun. You're getting good income. It's just like all goes hand in hand. And it's just, you know, looking at those tough months, it's like, okay, regroup, refresh. But that's also like, I feel like the freedom that this gives you. It's like not every month needs to be perfect. Like there's leeway. This is a side thing. It's not the main full thing. So thank you so much, ladies. I know what like you're, I know just, it's been so fun. I'm personally just seeing you guys just rise up and there's been a lot of obstacles with COVID, especially not being able to like get together and me and just things being different. But I think they basically laid it all out. Like whatever you're not whatever your coach says do but like there's no you know magic in this it's not like okay these are the secret things that you need to do to get to diamond it's like no like it's we're all sharing our tips we're all sharing the success club tracker we're all getting on these team calls we're all just in this together and when you lean in and when you just keep showing up and staying consistent that gets you to where you want to go more than anything so this is the last month, I would say the last couple of weeks, because I know if you are especially pushing to get to Destin in October, um, to go uh, into diamond qualifications, it has to be August 5th, because then you need to hold it for six weeks. So when we talked about the, um, the four people on each leg, and then they need two people, it's a total of 12 people all need to hold for six entire weeks. So just know that like that would need to start August 5th is the last date. Um, and then just hold for 12 weeks, not 12 weeks. <laughs> Thank goodness, not 12 weeks, six weeks. And um, like, even if you're a brand new coach, like if you signed up like yesterday, if you signed up a couple months ago or like a month ago, 
you could still qualify for this because we will waive some other things that you weren't able to do like success club. If obviously you couldn't hit success club in like April and May, if you just became a coach now. So just know like this trip and this retreat and just getting away and having a trip that is planned and meeting each other can do massive, massive things for your business. Um, so make that extra push this month, do the things, you know, there's no secret get excited, get excited about virtual summit, showcase people, tell people in your stories, like next year we're going to get together. And we don't know where yet, but it's somewhere you should be there with us. It's going to be awesome. Like there's so much, even if though you guys haven't like been to those things yet, that you can talk about and share your excitement of how real this opportunity is. So we're creeping up on 45 minutes. I'm going to wrap this up and just wanted to thank you. Well, first of all, I should ask, are there any questions for Kylie or Caitlin or Amanda before I end this? Going once, going twice. All right, ladies. Well, thank you all for jumping on tonight. Make it a good night and I will post this recording in our team page tomorrow. So thanks guys. See you later.